Hello, and welcome to Accounting 3370, Introduction to Taxation. This course is being offered as part of McMurray University's virtual campus, and it is being offered during Summer 1 of 2019. This class will cover federal taxation as it applies to individuals and entrepreneurs. Let's get started. I'm your instructor. You'll be hearing my voice throughout this curriculum. One of the points that you'll be hearing throughout this course is that taxation is different than accounting. Tax decisions do rely on the numbers derived from and the assumptions behind the financial statements, but federal taxation is an application of the law. It's not a recording of numbers per se, and it is a tool used to make decisions, but it is not accounting. In this class, we're going to look at the tax law and how it applies in a number of cases. In the first module, we'll look at the nature and theory of taxation, including who can tax us and how those taxes are collected. We'll look at the theoretical groundings of taxation and how those groundings have shaped the tax policy that's been used today. We'll also look at how the tax code is created and how the tax code is enforced. In the second module, which comprises the bulk of this course, we'll examine the principles of individual taxation. We'll start with the calculation of taxable revenue, and we'll examine what comprises income, what comprises taxable income, and what is excluded from taxable income through a deduction, through the standardized or itemized deduction, or through tax credit. We'll also look at how the tax code seeks to incentivize certain decisions, such as buying a house. In the third module, we'll look at some of the business decisions and how they impact the tax liability and taxable income. The ones that we focus on in this course are some of the ones that you might encounter if you were to start your own business as an entrepreneur. So let's take a couple minutes to look at how this class is set up and what you'll be expected to do within this class. This class consists of three thematic modules. The first covers chapters 1, 2, and 18 and addresses the nature and theory of taxation. The second comprises the principles of individual taxation and covers chapters 10, 14, 15, 16, and 17. And in the third module, which addresses selections from chapters 6, 7, and 8, you'll examine how different accounting decisions impact the tax liability and taxable income. Within Modal and within McGraw-Hill Connect, you're set up to complete different chapter activities, including concept quizzes through LearnSmart, homework problems, as well as discussion board. For each of the three modules, you'll complete an exam. Exams one and three are completed in Connect. The second exam, you'll be asked to prepare the tax return for Chandler, Bing, and Monica Geller, the fictitious characters from Friends, using the concepts that we learn within the module. For all three of the exams, the exam will open on a specific date and close on a specific date, within which you'll be required to take the exam. For the second exam, you'll be required to upload your completed tax return to Moodle by the date specified in the syllabus. Moodle is your main page headquarters. The top bar shows which course you're viewing, and the sidebar can be used to navigate throughout the course. 
This course is split up by week, and within each week are the different activities you'll be expected to complete. So now that you know what you're being asked to do to complete the requirements of this course, let's spend a couple minutes examining how to be successful in this course. The first way is to prepare for class. This is an online class, so by its nature, you'll be expected to do some self-teaching. As the instructor, I provide you with different resources and outlets to help teach yourself the material, and I also provide different activities to help you assess your comprehension of the material. Most of this is carried out through McGraw-Hill's Connect site. The syllabus, the weekly roadmap, as well as the McMurray course policies each describe how you can purchase access to the textbook through Redshelf and enter that access code within McGraw-Hill Connect. This is essential because so much of our course is completed through Connect. Within Connect, you'll see for each week the expected Learn Smart and the expected calculation problems. Refer to your syllabus for the due dates for each of these assignments. The Learn Smart activities are iterative quizzes that help you master the key terms and the concepts within the text. There are two ways to complete this. One is to complete the Learn Smart quizzes as you work through the material, and two is to read through the chapter and then complete the Learn Smart quizzes. In each case, the textbook will ask you questions that refer to the different concepts. If you miss too many questions from a given concept area, the textbook will send you back to the reading to figure out what it is you're missing. The homework problems, worth 20 points each chapter, are also completed on Connect, and these give you an opportunity to apply the concepts as they relate to the computation of tax liability or taxable income. In addition to McGraw-Hill, there are a number of other course tools that you can use and interact to be successful. These include and are provided on Moodle, different course videos, PowerPoint slide decks, and course. Moodle, like McGraw-Hill Connect, is set up by weekly activities. For each week, you'll see a roadmap that describes the weekly objectives, an overview of the material to be covered in the course during the week, as well as the expected activities you should complete. These activities are spread between Moodle and Connect. The course materials appear immediately following the roadmap. These include any required viewing, as well as a discussion board post. If you need additional help, refer to the extras section here. These are not required, but are here for your reference. The third way to be successful in this course is to interact with your classmates and your instructor. Each week, I've asked you to respond to a discussion board forum. In this first week, you'll introduce yourself to the class. In responding to these thought-provoking questions, you'll get to think a little bit more deeply about the content presented within the text and get some questions answered about the issues. The last way to be successful in this course is to ask for help if you are struggling. Tax doesn't come naturally to everyone. I barely do my own taxes. So learning this material so that I could help you learn was a struggle for me. I don't expect you to know it all, but I do expect you 
to help one another and to ask help of me if you're struggling. Each weekly unit, I set up a question and answer forum where you can either pose questions about things that you do not fully understand, or if you do understand them, it gives you an opportunity to check your comprehension by responding to your fellow classmates. If you are unable to get the help you needed from the discussion board, you're also welcome to call the doctor, refer to your syllabus for specific instructions on how to contact me via email, via my phone number or text, or my regularly scheduled Moodle live chat session time. Again, welcome to Accounting 3370 and the first day of the summer one term. If you're Nemo and you're excited to see what's to come and you're excited for the semester ahead, I hope you bring that enthusiasm every week to class as well as to the different activities you'll be asked to do as a part of this class. And if you're Marlin, who could have used another day or two or week before getting back to school, I hope you come to class, interact with the materials, and interact with your classmates so that you might share in their enthusiasm. Let's have fun and let's learn from each other.